Hey guys, it's Anaya back with another word, back with another message. So today's title is going to be Tend to the Sheep, Your Time Will Come. So you guys already know what I'm referring to. I am referring to the story of David and how he was tending to the flock until uh, Samuel came and got him and anointed him as the next king of Israel. So reason why I want to highlight this story today is because sometimes in our processes because we are there are a lot of davids out here there are, are definitely um god's chosen people out here and sometimes i feel like we grow weary or we are not understanding of the certain circumstances because if we're chosen then you know why do we face certain some of the things that we face or why do we face some of the adversity that we face um when we're going through things and i just kind of want to touch bases on this a little bit <clears throat> and one thing that I have realized on my journey and just the relating to the story of David is if you guys don't know who David is, David basically um, ended up becoming the king of Israel after Saul, um, who ended up becoming disobedient to God and just leaning on his own understanding with stuff. And with David, the story of David, a lot of people always, you know, glorify how, you know, he took down Goliath, but nobody really wants to talk about how he ended up taking down Goliath. So David was very humble at heart and David definitely did, um, in his younger ages, I'll say, he definitely did follow the rules and he definitely did, you know, tend to the flock until, you know, he got anointed to a different position. And every single time I look at the story of David, I realized that he was minding his business and he was just tending the sheep and somebody came and got him and promoted him. And, you know, he didn't see it coming. He just kept doing his due diligence and his day to day duties. And, you know, his brothers, he had a lot of brothers before him. I think he had a total of 11 brothers and he was the 12th brother. And you know, they all looked apart, but God seen their heart. God knew that David had a very humble heart and that he could work more with David than work with his brothers. And with each story, he ended up going and climbing up some type of ladder to essentially become promoted. So with that being said, you know, God will, will start you off at a certain place and then he'll give you little obstacle, obstacle courses in between to lead you up to that bigger position. So with David specifically, you know, he started fighting the lions, the tigers, and the bears. And half the time, you know, David was quiet about it. David didn't go all the time and run to his brothers and be like, oh, I just defeated this lion. Oh, I just defeated this bear. Like David was pretty much moving in silence and just doing his due diligence and just doing his job, which was protecting the flock. So then, you know, he ended up, he ended up getting promoted and he ended up, you know, playing music for, you know, Saul when he would have these you know, demons come and attack him because God had ended up sending an ill will spirit to him because he was disobedient to God. So, <clears throat> you know, he got promoted from there. Then Saul started to favor David. Then David became his, you know, right hand man. But Saul ended up becoming jealous. And before that whole process happened, you know, everybody knows the story about how David ended up defeating Goliath. So it was like in between each promotion, there was some type of obstacle course that he faced that ended up leading him higher and higher and higher. And, you know, within those those circumstances, every time he went higher, 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 the obstacle course changed and the obstacle course got high, um, got harder and harder and harder. And sometimes with this, because we're chosen, we're like, OK, y'all. If we chose it, why are we going through this? Why are we going through that? Like, why can't this process just be as easy and smooth? And it's because it, with each obstacle course, there's more responsibility tied to that. So if God can trust you with a little, he can then trust you with much more. So I know it can be very frustrating because I know for me with, with certain things that's going on in my life personally, it can be very frustrating. However, God will always give you strategy. and He will always give you a tactic on how to get to the next level and how to do it in the right ways. And my message to you guys is to make sure that you go to God and that you go through the, the right channels so that you can get to the next level and get to the next step. And I know sometimes it can be very, very irritating. And one scripture that has been playing in my head all day is it's somewhere in Proverbs. I don't know the, the text right now, but you can look it up because I know I'm probably gonna say it correctly. And pretty much it basically says that 
better is a patient person than a warrior who takes on a city. Meaning that if you know you have been experiencing some type of ill will spirit, some type of uh, adversary, whatever the case is, and you're getting to a point where you know you is fed up and you want to act out of character and you want to act ungodly, but you keep having this pull, or you keep having this this pull, which is Holy Spirit and God basically telling you like, hey, chill, I got it. Please listen to that because I'm telling you, if you try to step outside of character or move before God's timing, things will not play out the way that you expect it. And this is not me to, you know, scare you or any way, shape or form, but essentially in life, you are never going to know if you're making the right decision wholeheartedly until it has an effect. And like I said, like, as long as you, you know, because God is not going to sit over here and give you a verbatim yes or no sometimes. Sometimes he needs you to learn from your mistakes in order for you to get to the next level. And with that, it's like life can sometimes be gray. And but at the end of the day, there's going to be choices that you're going to have to make. And sometimes those choices are going to be scary to make because you're like, oh, my God, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? And I know for me, I do that a lot personally. So it's just kind of like you have to bite the bullet and you have to just, I don't want to say hold your fingers, but like, you know, sometimes you, you got to be like, all right, Lord, like I'm making this decision. I really need you. I'm sorry. That's my dog. I really need you to help me in this situation. Help me because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is fully the right steps, but the thing is with God, God is funny. So you know, I don't know if you guys know the story of the book of Nehemiah, but there's one specific, you know, uh, scripture that basically said, Nehemiah said to himself that I took counsel within myself. And that means that God has given you enough tools to make a choice, to make, to make the good choice or the right choice. Now, you might not be spot on with it, but you might be close enough to the truth that you realize it because God has already instilled those wise words or the wise ways of, of being I don't know why that sounded weird but God gives you you know the tools on how to move so it's just kind of like sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and go and just pray for the best pray for the best but like I said you know sometimes as us being children of God or whatever case is we question ourselves a lot or we question God as to why we're in a certain pos position that we're in but as long as you know we abide by him and lean on him as much as possible because none of us are perfect but you know you you will succeed and you will do good in life so i'm just telling you right now you know anybody that's watching this anybody that is you know going through something please take it to the lord first but if you needed some type of confirmation to be like should i do this thing this is your answer and again take every word take every message with the lord and i'll see you guys in the next video peace